no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. Today we are back here on Nodak Farms doing some more map work. Uh, if you remember in the previous video, um, we put in all the houses and got those set up, and I said I would uh, get all the grass filled in, which I did, and I got the road double-checked to make sure everything was okay on that. And uh, I got CPS imported as well as the beet piler and the livestock sale barn. Um, so these items are ready to uh, go. I've got CPS in in the way that I want it. Uh, we just get to do the adjustments to it that are needed. Ah, I got something stuck in my tooth. Anyway, uh, so we are going to go ahead <coughs> and get started here. Um, we need terrain editing, and we want that to square. All right, so let's see here. Let's get this corner of the building in. In fact, I'm going to actually move this over just a little bit because I want it to be back just a little bit from the road uh, because I'm going to be um, lifting the terrain up uh, a fair amount, actually. So and we're going to move it in just a hair more as well. Okay, there we go. So now we'll take it from right there. We'll set that to replace. Yeah, so our terrain is whoops, rising quite a bit. So that's Kind of the reason why I moved it a ways back is because I didn't want to interfere with the uh, road itself. Um, so let's get this all smoothed out. So this is basically going to be one big concrete area right here. And I think these buildings are perfect just the way that they are. Ah. There we go. That was really starting to bug me. Okay, so now we're going to... Okay, so that's set to concrete already. And we're going to go ahead and... Get painting. So we're going to make this a nice big lot here. So then starting right about here, we'll expand it out just a little bit more to just beyond. So that'll go out like that. And this will go just a little bit beyond there. Perfect. So now we're just going to make this invisible. Just so that way we can see all of this area that has grass on it yet. 
All right, perfect. We'll bring that back up. And we're good to go on that one. So we'll get the sail barn put in next. Because uh, our beat piler will go over there. But the sail barn is going to go right up in here. So we need our attributes back up, actually. So do I want to put it like this? Now I just need to decide how I would like to put this thing. I think I'll move it over just a little bit more. And then what I'm going to do is put like trees around it and stuff. But, okay. So let's get... Everything set up here. In fact, I think everything is actually perfect right where it is. Uh, that could use a little bit of smoothing down over there, but... I'm actually okay with the way that that is. Okay, so now we need to paint here as well. I think what I'm going to do is have it come in right here. And this will come right up to the pens. And then it'll come over to the building. I'm just going to go around the building here. So then this will come over to about there. Yeah, so like I said, I'm going to put trees around this. And I'm going to put some like bedding and some other stuff in this as well like just kind of make it look realistic some bale feeders and just some kind of realism items uh, i got a little far over there Make this invisible again. Oh wait, yeah, this part actually needs to be... Uh, I did the wrong texture all the way around there. farther kind 
kind of making a mess here. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. Here we go. This will make it much neater. I'm actually going to make this dirt around the area where that building went as well, I think. Perfect. And heck, why not? We'll make this dirt here too. All right, that looks pretty good right there, just like that. So now this entire area is done, so we can put in some grass here now. Um, So sorry that I don't talk a whole lot in the mapping videos. I'm just like trying to concentrate on what I'm doing usually. I'm not really focused on like talking or anything. So sorry if the mapping videos are kind of boring in that aspect, but Now I've had a few people tell me that they really enjoy these mapping videos, so, I mean, I enjoy making them, because I'm working on maps, but... I'm sure it probably does get somewhat boring at some point where, you know, with not talking a whole lot, but I guess it is what it is. So I don't have any of the triggers yet in either for like CPS or uh, the sale barn here. I don't have any of that stuff in quite yet. Um, I will get it added in at some point. I just need to go. I'm going to just export textures uh, or not textures. Um, triggers off of gold crest. And uh, just use those. I mean, they're usually the same ones that are on a map anyways. But I just would rather get them from Goldcrest. And make... Because then I know that they're working. Or even, I guess, like another map. But it's just as easy to go on to Goldcrest and take things off. As it is to... Um, you know, to... Take it off of like any other modded map or anything like that. It's just as easy, so. All right, so that area is completely done see what it looks like from our PDA 
Not bad. That area is, of course, not showing up quite yet. And I am going to go around the road with the concrete texture as well. And that will kind of help sh help it show up some on, uh, you know, the PDA map. I just got to go around it. Maybe I will, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I should, what I should do here, attributes, I should just set, no, it is already set way high, okay, huh, okay, so we got all that, so now we need our beat piler, and that is going to go right across the road from CPS, it's just going to be back a little ways, and of course it's facing the wrong way. Because why wouldn't it be? There we go. Okay, so let's get this brought up here a little bit more. Right about there. Okay, I'm going to line up this sign. I'll go down just a hair more. Just a hair more. There we go. Perfecto. Okay, we'll set this to replace. And we're going to make it square. I'm going to make it the size of this, so I only need to do one thing, one pass, you could say. Because actually I might just take it all the way over. And everything will be the same right in here. And this needs to go over just a little bit farther as well because I have to smooth it and it might not want to play nice when it's that close. Uh, I am going to change out all the lights on this as well and put them to ones that are like ones from Goldcrest or something like that or uh, there was a placeable pack released on the Giants Mod Hub that I might put on here. Um, just some better looking ones and ones that are up to 17 standards as well. Um, that'll make that a little bit nicer and hopefully they're a little bit brighter than these ones are. So like if we're harvesting sugar beets in the middle of the night for whatever odd unknown reason uh, we can with no issues uh, okay so now we need to move some of this stuff here because uh, uh -huh. this needs to go down just a little bit where it is ah oh, darn Okay, so we just need to bring the ground up a little bit farther then. There we go. So then this can go around this building or the dump area and then all the rest of this stuff down here as well.
Okay. Now we'll make a dirt road going in. all up in this area here uh, fix that a little bit place is basically just one big dart pile <laughs> that is like basically spread all over the ground really with the way that it is In a way, the way that I'm doing things of, like, adding the stuff and then putting the grass in afterwards, in a way, it's kind of nicer. But then again, it sometimes isn't if you forget to, like, add some of the stuff. Because if you forget to add it, that's really not that good. So I'm going to put that sign there. And... Then the other one will go right like that. Actually, it's going to go back just a little bit more. Perfect. Okay. Well, uh, I think that's going to do it for this video. What do we add here? 23 minutes? Oh, that's all right. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do between this video and the next one. I'll figure that out. I'll do something. But I'm going to get some more stuff done. Uh, I need to do some more on this dealership as well pretty soon. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.